Hi guys, Anthony here from The Hot End. In this episode, we're gonna look at the XSK Nook. So the Intel Nook that I have here sports the Celeron 3160 processor. It runs four gig of DDR3 memory and it has a 64 gig SSD. You'll see here that it has four Ethernet ports on the front, two USB 3.0 ports, a control port, and two HDMI outputs. And you'll see here, it's also got a sound output as well. Now these guys have a wide range of uses, um, primarily with so many Ethernet ports, they're designed for, um, like I said, running as a NAS or a Linux server or a router. Uh, you can also run Windows 10 on one of these if you like. Now this one came pre-installed with Windows 10, uh, which was an old Chinese version. So I promptly formatted and got rid of that and I put on Alpine Linux. Now I chose Alpine Linux because it is a super lightweight distribution and it's designed to run in the RAM of the unit. So I picked this up to replace my old Xeon servers and those things are power hungry. Anybody that runs servers will know that those things sound like a jet engine when you power them up. So they're noisy and they suck a lot of juice, especially a dual CPU Xeon server uh, that was running about 500 watts on full tilt. This beast will run at approximately 10 to 15 watts on 12 volts. Now the Nook is in a CNC'd all aluminium enclosure which keeps the heat down excellent i have just unplugged this for the video and it is it's cold to the touch and it's been running for uh, about a week now constantly 24 7. so the primary reason i wanted one of these was to replace the old raspberry pi that i was running for a linux server now raspberry pis have their place don't get me wrong but the downside i have with them is you're running a well, I was running a Linux distribution and a server on one of these guys, and the constant read writes to the SD would constantly cause a memory corruption. And I have on quite a few occasions lost my entire server due to a corrupted memory card. So that was out. And with the SSD built into this guy, I have not had any issues and I, I don't see that I will have an issue. So I've got this guy running Alpine Linux, Docker, Patena, Pi-hole. If you want to see more about blocking ads, uh, click on the card. As well as MS, an MSQTT server and Home Assistant. Now you'll see on the screen here, the CPU usage via top in Linux is showing between zero and 1%. So far I've had this running for quite some time. Um, running Home Assistant. It's been rock solid, stable, um, cool to the touch, quiet, and it's using next to no power. So if you're after a alternative to the Raspberry Pi that gives you a bit more stability and a lot more functionality, I highly urge you to check out one of these Intel Nooks. Uh, if you're interested, there'll be links in the description below. There'll be an affiliate link, so it doesn't cost you anything, but I get a kickback for the channel. Remember, if you like this video, please hit that like button. If I've earned a subscription, hit the subscribe button. And if you'd like to see more content, specifically more in depth on configuring Linux and Pi-hole and all that kind of stuff on here, let me know in the comments below. Um, that's the only feedback I've got to go on to know if you like this kind of content. So uh, with this unit, I can do a lot of home automation. So if you wanna see that stuff, let me know in the comments below. All right, guys. Thanks, I'll see you on the next video.